Hi there, Roger with K&M Precision Shooting Products. One of the questions that we frequently get is how do I read the vernier micrometer out in the fourth decimal place for measuring neck wall thickness? It's really not that hard, but first let's take a look at a micrometer and what makes up a micrometer so that we can then talk about how to use one. First of all, the frame is this piece of the main structure here. This is referred to as the anvil. This is the spindle of the micrometer. And then this is the thimble, the part you actually grab and turn. Many micrometers will have a, 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 a little clutch in them, typically referred to as a ratchet. This one is out on the end. Sometimes that, that uh, is built into the spindle itself. This part back in here that the spindle goes over, the thimble goes over top of is the sleeve. And there's division markings on that. And then sometimes you'll have a, a spindle lock so that you can't rotate it. The next thing we need to understand is the divisions on a micrometer and what each of those means. So first of all, the spindle has markings from zero all the way around back to zero, which is 25. So each one of those is one thousandth of an inch in, in measurement and one revolution of your spindle is 25 thousandths. And then each of the markings on the sleeve, again, is 25,000. So as you rotate 25,000 on your spindle, you'll see another mark come up. And then when you rotate over on this side of the sleeve, you'll see markings here with numbers that start from zero, go all the way up through nine, <clears throat> and end with a zero. Those are where we're reading our fourth decimal place. So let's go ahead and, and take a measurement of a neck wall and uh, see what we come up with. Okay, so here you can see we've, we've uh, tightened up on the case neck loosely and we'll see that we went up past 16 but not quite to 17. So we already know we're somewhere between 16 and 17 thousandths for our thickness. To get our fourth decimal place, simply roll over to the sleeve and what you're looking for now is which one of these divisions best lines up and matches a marking on the spindle itself. And in this situation it looks like it's six. So the measurement for this particular neck wall thickness would be 0 0.0166. That would be our neck wall thickness for that particular cartridge. So that's how you read a, a uh, micrometer with the vernier scale for the fourth decimal place. Thanks for watching and please visit us at camshooting.com.